Hey, welcome back to Favorites with Laura. Thank you for stopping by. Today we have a Timu haul. I have so many gadgets, so many tools, a little bit of clothing, and I've opened up the bags. They didn't come in a box. Crazy that they didn't come in a box. So they came in a couple bags, and I have organized them, and I'm with, I can't wait to show you everything I've received, okay? So let's get into it. I've tried to price them out. Now, some of these prices have changed since I received them. Some things have been discontinued. If they are, I they have other things out there. I will find the most similar item from the Timu site that matches the items I have if they are sold out, okay? Everything will be in the description box below, either by order number for the whole link of the order, or it will be individually linked so that you can go to it. And I wanna ask you that if you do decide you wanna buy something, click my link. Use my code. You're not, I don't know if you're going to save anything, but even as an existing app user, when you click my link, I do get credit. Timu does show that you have made a purchase through my link, and that helps me, okay? I don't think I get anything at this point, but it will tell them that you're watching and that you saw something that interests you. So, with that said, let's get started. So, this first thing up, because... I love my tools. I do. I do. Um, I don't always have to do the the hard work around the house, but if I wanted to, I could, and it'd be pink. Okay. So what is this? Let's open this up. I forget even what this is, but this is priced at twenty one ninety eight, and it's a set. We're gonna pop it open. I've been dying to open this. Okay. Dying to do this video. Hey, I'm gonna have a couple PR videos go up. Um, if you could watch them, that would be wonderful too. I know they're not as exciting as the Timu ones, but I think they're interesting. And one is going to be hair extensions again. So I'm looking forward to that. That noise you hear is my dog who thinks that she... Here's my little Mia. Here's my little Mia. <laughs> she just wants to be by us. She just wants to be by me. I know, I know. She's got a dirty face, though, so let's see. There we are. Say hi. Say hi. Okay. We're going to put her down. I had the door shut, and I'm here by myself, so they're just scratching at the door the whole time. So let's get into this. Make sure I open this right and not upside down. So it's the plastic case. has the little lock. Okay, so I opened it upside down. So it comes with this, it's a drill, and I wanted it to be cordless, so everything did kind of fall out, and it will put that all back in order, but it has a place for everything, which I loved. Let's see, that goes there, I think. I'm not gonna bore you with watching me put this all back together, but let's just get this out. And the one thing about this tool is some of these, now it has, it has, um, what are these called? Screwdrivers, drills, so you can use this for everything. And the little like ratchet, you know, adapters here. Look at me do it with nails. Is that not sexy? <laughs> so, okay, so I like this piece here because sometimes those angles and different places you need to get into, this can mold around the corner and you can get into it. Ooh, look at that. There's my thumbnail, huh? Too bad I can't do a video for my thumbnail. That's really cool. Let's make that circle. Now it really does look cool. Okay, so and it has the reverse button here. Um, you push it here. What is that? Oh, that pushes it out, I bet you. I bet you. Let's see here. Yep. So this is a great little set. Um, for that daughter that's going off to college or going to be on her own, maybe you get that for her. $21. I mean, that's a steal. It's got all the bits and pieces for every kind of screwdriver you need. Um, a drill bits, um, adapters, everything you need is right here. It has the charging cable. And I will try to get a better picture of this and put it up here for you. But this is what I wanted. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. Yes, this is awesome. Now, which way did this go in here? Like that. Okay. 
Um, this is so cool, everyone. Okay, put those over there. I wasn't going to do this, but there we go. Everything's back in. Put the directions in there. Like I need directions. Like I would read them anyway. Let's see. Close it without everything falling out. So just lock everything in. I like how the case locks up. And I like how compact this is. You can put this in your car. How awesome is that? Okay, so I do a lot of the assembly at my house anyway. And I hate pulling out that big, heavy, bulky um, set that my husband has, which is great for him because he never likes any of the tools I have. And he'll usually break it because he's using his man hands all over it. I'm like, it's not meant to be that heavy duty kind of work. So that's the first thing I'm excited about. What do we got here? I've been waiting to open this stuff for so long I forget what it is. So this next item was $7.19. And I just honestly don't... Oh, okay, $7.19. And it's a three cup. Now this came in blue and clear. I should have done this in my pink, my pink one. They're plastic measuring cups. We're always looking for measuring cups around here, so... You know, we have them. We have glass, not the plastic, but eh, they're cute. I do like glass, but this makes it a little lighter on your hands. And what I liked is it had this one tiny one that equals three quarters cup. Really? Or does it go? It looks like it's about a cup, eight ounces. Let's see. Um, so it does have the mill, the liters there, or what do you call them? milliliters and then the measuring cup so it looks like it goes up to three quarters cup which is a very common size actually and then in fact if you're dieting this is usually your size for cereal or different things that you're making it's usually three quarters not one cup um this goes up to two and a half cups and this one goes up to one and a half cups so kind of odd sizing so i'm guessing they go by the metric um so yeah the big one is 600 so it's more of an even number for the metric system, 15 milliliters on that one, 300 milliliters, and 600. That's probably why it's a weird size into the um, measuring system we use. Okay. I have a whole mess of different tools and gadgets. Okay, so this one is a St. Patrick's Day top. And I thought it was more of a sweatshirt. This one is 1098. So it's not shiny, but it is that like polyester feel. There's no fleece lining to it, so it's going to be lightweight. It does have like a sweatshirt band at the bottom, and this is what it looks like. And that's all that's on it. So it's kind of cute. I liked it. Um, it's super soft. It's going to fit, and it has the bands around the... looks like it's really long in the sleeve area. Yeah, this is super cute. It says Lucky on it lucky okay so that's cute like it i like that it's like a it's not an army green well maybe it seems a little brighter or lighter than an army green but it's not like that bright bright green you know and we have another bag so we'll put that over there we'll stack the clothes there then we got this other top it was 759 it's a different type of green. It is polyester, extra large. It's just a plain top. I, li I like this color this year. This is one of my favorite colors, um, these kind of greens. Now that definitely looks like an army gr green to me. Soft polyester blend, not shiny, but nice and soft. And then this one was $7.59 too. Um, I was on a green kick. I was thinking St. Patrick's Day, so I must have bought every one that they had in green. Okay, well, it's not a color I have big in my wardrobe, so that's okay. Extra large, $7.59. And what is this? This is, it's really imposed on there. I wouldn't say it's sublimation, but it definitely feels better than iron-on. I don't know. Another short sleeve shirt. Love it. Almost looks like the heart's crooked. Let me look at it. Yep. That heart is crooked. 
the heart is crooked on here. Just a little bit. Goes like that. <laughs> oh, Timu. Okay, then we have another one for seven forty-eight. Another green. And now every one of these, these two are the same green. The other one is, you can tell the different color greens. This one is a heather green. Oh, this is one that I took out. Now, I showed you one a while ago. It was right after I'd been over at friend's house and we used her sublimation, sublimation printer and it was white like this with the little, um, and so look what I did on the, I took this out already and I ironed, did an iron on heat transfer with a um, pattern that I got from Timu. I put that on the sleeve and then on the chest area, I just put the little one now. I put it over a little too far, I think, but still cute, still St. Patrick's Day stuff. Heather green. So those are cute. Okay, those are very cute. Then this was like 678. I'm gonna try this out. This is a revolving nine inch leather punching tool. So um, in my weight loss journey, um, some of my favorite belts, they're little, um, they look great, like brand new, but they're little, um, they, they're not tight enough anymore. And I'm on the last hole. So this just clicks over. And I guess that's just for how big a hole you want it. Yeah, so they have different size holes there. And then it should just punch right into it because it's got a cutting edge. Okay, we're going to give that a shot because I have a belt. I want to try that on. We'll come back to that. I won one of those hand vacuums that are cordless, rechargeable hand vacuums. And they work, fab the one I won at least, worked fabulous. And it still works. We use it in the house for everything. Um, not everything, but, you know, in the drawers or um, just getting little messes cleaned up quickly and so I wanted one for my car and of course I wanted it in pink so this is 1048 for this one and I don't know if it's the same it looks a little different than the one I have but we're gonna put it together and it is supposed to be cordless it's not you gotta have it plugged in to a lighter now it has the old-fashioned lighter um, outlet not a USB I didn't look at that carefully enough but I do have this in the back of my car my back seat has one of these kind of outlets so that's actually where I'll be using it mostly because my kids are a mess and it doesn't have as big of a area here, but that's okay. It's supposed to be for, I like it for like the console area and getting into the crevices of the seats. So this should just look on here. I'm kind of bummed though that it's, I guess if you're in the car, oh yeah, I can get it. Okay, there we go. Okay. So that's what it looks like when you put that piece on. Then it comes with a little brush that can go to the end of this, or you can just use this. I just use this piece all the time. So, yeah, that's cool. I was hoping it was chart, you know. Anyway, so this is going to go in my car, and that's where that's going to stay. Right, Laura? Okay. Then I got this for my husband, just a little quick jacket he could put on. It's a flannel. Um, but it's heavier than a standard shirt. It was $20.87. And it is super heavy. But when it gets a little bit warmer here, he still wants something. But um, I thought it was nice. They do have it in different colors. And it's very nice. So, yeah. That looks like it's going to be perfect. And it's super heavy. I mean, it really is. It's heavy. Heavy wear like a little jacket flannel jacket I don't see the tags in here but he will like that Put that over there for now then they have this and in here oh this is a um, it's it was $5.99 so I didn't know what size I was getting I ended up getting it looks like the a4 I thought it was the a5 um, they both were the same price. I think it's even down to four something under five dollars right now. But it's a little light board. It should be. No, I think you have to. 
have it plugged in. They call it a copy board, but it's a little light board, so if you're doing a little bit of a um, diamond painting or anything that you're trying to have a little bit more light to, this is going to work great. It's got the charging cord and all that. And USB 5 volt um, copy board instructions. There you go. Okay, I have this. $16.98. What is it? Oh, okay, so $16.98. Got eight pieces, a little bit more than like $2 and some pennies per each item. You can buy them for like $2, maybe $2 each. But I like this little set. It had pink handles. These are tool tools for making jewelry. Now I have a lot of them. I don't have all of them. And these are smaller pieces. So I kind of liked it so I can have it more in... Um, well, okay, so here's the deal. So I'm going to be like doing something like one of those little classes with a friend of mine. And I thought we we're going to need some extra tools. So I got this and I got a couple extras. But um, this has everything you can think about for getting uh, started with jewelry making. Eight pieces. They come in different colors. Needle nose. They have the really long needle nose ones. The rounded ones. Now, this is for my daughter. This was, this is now $28, but I think that I didn't pay that. It feels like I paid $21, and I think I found it for a lot, little bit less than where I got it from, too, now. Now, this has different sizes, so you have to be careful when you do find it for less that you're getting, that you're getting one that's not a tiny, tiny one. Okay, so this is what it is. And it is a little automatic controller. So it's called Knitting Machine. She can make hats. I'm going to see. Oh, I probably shouldn't open it all because it's for her. Okay, so I'm not going to open it all, but this is the size of the one I wanted. They have a really tiny, tiny one like this. It sits like this big. And uh, this is the one we wanted to get. So I got her that. I'm going to let her open that up. And to go along with that, they had a 24-piece um, acrylic, 100%, for $15.28, skeins of different yarns. So these skeins are not very big. Probably could have gotten less at um, some of the other stores. But it's going to give her a variety of different colors to play around with. So there's eight in there. Get every color in the book here. That one and this one. So that's cool. What a great selection of yarn. She's gonna love this. She loves playing around with the yarn. And it's supposed to be a knitting machine. She knows how to crochet, so this one's kind of fun. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I told you I got some tools. I'm gonna put this back. So this came out of this box. It was all smashed. Um, so this is another tool. This is called the Vi Variable Speed Rotary Detail Carver. But when you're working with jewelry or resin jewelry, it's great to have one of these little things. Now, I didn't know it, but this came with stencils too. So you can actually look at all these burrs that it came with. came with a great selection of burrs. Some more filing. Came with stencils. Oops. Stencils. A whole ton of different stencils. So you can actually like carve into wood and do that. That's not what I'm getting it for. Has a little bit more of an etcher here, so you can etch with this as well. They have the right burrs for that. It's got sanding disc. It has cutting disc. I mean, this is a great set. What did I say this one was? This one is this set cost the time eleven ninety eight. Yes. Eleven ninety eight folks. And so here's the the actual hand device. And it plugs in, it has a long cord. So cool. Looks just like um, that. It's got a speed control down here. So yeah and the little chuck this opens and closes. 
and you can put your burrs in there. Okay, so that's cool. That is a great deal. Has a little piece of paper. Put all those in there. Let's get this put away. It gets crazy out of hand with, when I do these hauls that are big like this. I have all this stuff to them. I don't know how I'm going to get it back in that box, but I just push it through. We just work it. I told you I got some more tools. So this one is a six-piece tool thing. Um, jewelry making set. They're all different colors. You get six pieces. Tweezers. And it even has like this little jump ring holder. So when you're trying to open and close a ton of jump rings, if you're making a, a strand of jewelry by bending all the, the wire, that's what these are really for is like for wire bending and all that stuff and cutting. It's a lot of the similar pieces, but this is the piece that's really cool too, having one of these because it has all different sizes. You just put it in your finger, put the jump ring in there, and you're holding your tweezers with the other, and it opens and closes those pieces real quickly. So you're not sitting there with two tools in your hand like this, trying to open and close and then put one down. This just works so much faster when you have these. Then I forgot I got this. I bought this for a friend. This is a dragonfly necklace, silvery, 98 cents. It was a good deal. Let's open it up. We're going to take a look at this. And don't worry. There's more tools. There's more gadgets. There's more. There's more. And there's even moissanite in here. Okay, so this is a really pretty necklace with the dragonfly on it in the silver tone. And there's a lot on Timu of these, but I liked this one. And it has a little bit of weight to it, so it doesn't feel um, like it's a 98 cent jewelry. And it's very pretty. Very pretty for 98 cents. Still available. This is 119. It has a pink stone in it, not the moissanite, and it's got like a box chain to it. Okay, awesome. More jewelry, more fun. Fashion jewelry. I feel like I sunk in this shirt in this seat. Okay, then we have the moissanite. This was $13.40, and it's a bracelet. comes like that. You get your Moissanite GRA card. Um, I guess you can register your jewelry pieces to that for a warranty. comes in a nice little gift box. So if you're going to give it away. And this is a one-carat bracelet. You know what I saw on Timu today? I saw this 85 carat, like tennis bracelet, each carat, each solitaire on that bracelet, and it went all the way around, was five carats. It was on Timu for like $480. 85 carats of moissanite. Can you believe that? Would you buy an, a $400 bracelet off of Timu? So here, this is gorgeous. Beautiful. The only thing is, if you break it right here, if it breaks or gets snagged on something, like my other one, I still have to take in because I want to have it fixed. I love it so much. But that's one carat. That's gorgeous. I'm going to put that on if I can. I have nails on, so I probably can't. Yeah. So th they say this is a six and a half. Where's my size? Six and a half millimeter. Well, six and a half inches, I think. But I have like a, I think a seven, so you can tell it's going to fit even a larger. It has the extension chain there. So for $13, it's beautiful. Love it. But there's not a lot of moissanite I don't like, and it's supposed to be st sterling, the 925 sterling silver. So, okay, there's that. Okay, so I went and got my belt because I want to put another notch in it. You know. <laughs> So here's my belt. I have one, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put in number six. So I'm going to just eyeball it because that's what I do. Eyeball it. So we're going to do that. 
Let's see. I could just, okay, so yeah, it's already embossed it a little bit. Oh yeah, it's cutting through. So you just want to turn it a little bit like that, I guess. I should have watched a video on this. I'm sure somebody has a video out there about this. Like that. Maybe you're supposed to pull it. Is this how they do it in real life? So there, I, I got the, the six hole and it's nice and clean. Look at that, I did it. So I did work it a little bit with the little and moving it like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six holes. I think I'm going to put another one in. And I did the right size. I started small. Look at that. I did it. I did it. I'm so excited. <laughs> that, I needed that because I love that belt. That's a Timu belt, actually. And I just loved it. Okay, so here's another toolkit for jewelry making. So like I said, my friend and I are trying to, um, we're going to come up with something in one one night we might do a class on jewelry making. So I wanted to have enough tools for everyone to, to have access to it. And But this set, this is my favorite one. It was $17.78. What I liked about it is you got a lot of accessories to it. So it comes with the wires, different wire options here. And there's some more inside. It comes with this case to hold it. Some more, the copper. And then you got the, the um, uh, what do they call it, for more jewelry making, the clear um, elastic. And then you have some of the findings that you need, jump rings, earring holders, all different kinds of pieces that you can possibly use in silver tone. And then in here are some more little pieces that I didn't have in the other sets. So you get two of these needles. You get everything you can think of that you might need. And it's all got its own little place. Some of the My diamond. Okay, that's awesome. And you want to keep it in here so it doesn't get your light doesn't get scratched up. There we go. Now, this is the part. This part takes batteries though. Shoot. Oh, guess what? Oh my gosh, it came with a 9 volt battery. That's a steal. Okay, awesome. Little directions. Little, like, certificate here. One year guarantee. Of course, you can write down the date you bought it. I don't know if it's. I don't know. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Let's put the little battery. It's got an on and off right there. Let's see how this is going to work. Okay, we're going to lift this up. We're going to snap that battery right in there. So, 9 volt batteries are funny. Did you ever do that test on a, on 9 volt battery when you were a kid? I'm not here to... Um, promote or <laughs> cause anybody injury, but yeah. If you know, you know. And you probably haven't done it again since. Okay, I'm trying not to lose a nail because I did put some nails on. I've gone over a week without changing, without having um, nails on my, I filmed a lot of my last videos um, close together, so I had a lot to put up. And I left my nails off for a week because my nails needed to breathe. They were really getting shabby. So I needed them to breathe a little bit. So we're going to put this on here. Kind of slides up. Okay, so. So lamp on, battery okay. Turn it up. Lamp on, ready okay. So does it have to warm up? I don't know. How does this work? Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to look at the directions. Got a couple more things to show you, too. Okay, specifications, probe. Oh, the lamp is on that it's ready. Okay, so that didn't come on right away. Let's see. Do I turn it volume all the way up? Okay. Well, it only... I don't get it. I'm going to have to come back on this because it's, if you turn, look it, it's not on at all, right? I mean, it's on, 
So you turn up the volume, you're getting the diamond indicator right there. I mean, that doesn't prove anything. I can turn it down. <laughs> so I don't know. In order to prevent the tip from bending or breaking, is there a tip? Oh! Okay, this is typical of me. Uh, that's got a tip to it. Okay, a cover. Take the cover off, everybody. Okay, so I put it straight up and down. There you go, diamond. Now, okay, so we have some more tools because we're going to build it like the girl that I am. And this is a cordless drill because I don't like pulling out my husband's all the time. So by cordless, I hope they mean chargeable. Cordless, it says, discover your power. Now, I had to look hard and long because I wanted to make sure it was cordless. And I didn't want to be attached to a wire. So it does have this piece right here. But that is to charge the battery. It's 12-volt battery. There's no other pieces to it. But as you can see, that other set I bought will fit in here. It would be all that. So let's see. Is this charged? Oh, my gosh. I, <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh, and it just fits my hand perfectly. It's not too big and bulky. I just, I feel so powerful. Oh my gosh. You girls, you gotta get one. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm excited about this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that's mine. Nobody can touch it. And I can even do it with my nails on. So, I know it's not a requirement. I know that sounds awfully girly. I don't care. That's me. You be you. I'll be me. Now, what is this? This was 1934. Hmm. I don't remember what this is. I got two more things after this, so don't go away. I'm so glad to be getting this Timu one out because I have a couple more orders coming this is oh my gosh I've already I've already shown you one of these I probably paid too much for this one but it is what it is actually it's a little different it's taller okay they're getting expensive with their acrylic uh, containers so what I liked about this one awesome one two three four five and you can get them smaller you can definitely get these smaller. Which way is up? Okay, so this has this. Oh, this is heavy duty. These are solid. Yeah, that's a heavy piece. Okay, there's two drawers like that. Then you have the bigger drawer. Now you can put some like um, felt or velvet on the bottom here. And they each have their own tracks, so you can change around. Um, these are larger spaces for the bigger earrings or bigger beads or bigger necklaces or bigger earrings and you get two drawers like that this is heavy duty you guys it's not cheesy except right now when i'm trying to put it back in okay okay i love it um 19 dollars almost 20 dollars i don't know I've paid more, I guess, before for different things before the Timo days. I just got that drawer on the wrong track. Let's see if I break it. There we go. Okay. So. There it is. Beautiful. I have a mess to clean up after you guys are after you guys leave. <laughs> okay, so what is this? So it's not the round one. I'm pretty sure I got the square. This has a, it's a three tier metal shelving decorative shelving thing, and I think this one was twenty two ninety four. I don't think that's what it says. That's what I got. Okay, so they had um, two level. They had I think a single turntable one. Um, square and round. I think, I thought I looked at the square one because I wanted it different. I got the square one. Okay. So, I want to see 
for $22 what it's like. I love storage, storage and organization. So I get this metal pole. Metal pole. This piece is plastic. This looks like the base. Should be some like wheels. And each tier looks like it's a little smaller than the next. So the tiers are metal. Okay, so that one's the larger one. Get little caster wheels for the bottom, I think. I think that's what that is. Huh, they look funny to me though. Or maybe they're not even casters, they're just feet. Okay, so. Oh, okay, those are pieces there. Okay, well, I'm not putting this together right here. Maybe I'll come back to that. It's, it's uh, large. Okay, so what else did I get? I probably spent too much on this, too. This was $35. What was I thinking? Well, I was thinking for the front hallway. I have a hall tree, and it is like a water fountain. Now, it's a But I wanted something more rustic for my household decor. And it comes with a little bag of rocks. Uh, I'm going to be mis mixing my pieces up. It comes in this box, so let me see here. I'm guessing that's the pump for the water. These are like um, stumps, tree stumps. Oh my gosh, there's no directions. <laughs> Oh, no, no I, that was the first piece of paper I got out. Okay, so there's the bottom. I'm guessing the pump goes down in here. And then here's the pieces here. And it's kind of like, I don't know what this material is. I don't know, some kind of resin. But that's what it's going to look like. And it'll sit in here, I'm sure. There's the place for the, yeah. So the pump will go below and that'll sit up there. And I guess I put the stones around the bottom here, the, the base here. Uh, yeah, okay. Pretty simple. Insert the LED light of the water. Oh, there's a light to it. Okay, well, I'll have to put this together and take a little video and clip it to the end. So if you like this video, that's the last of it. Um... Until more comes, I have Dollar Tree still to show you. I have some more clothes by the pound. I have the Irresistible Me hair that I want to show you. And um, so come on back. Give those a little bit of love too. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed um, and you're, you're here this long, just hit that little subscribe button. And I want to let you know that if you have subscribed, um, just double check that you're still subscribed. Because unless you unsubscribed, sometimes... It seems like subscribers are falling off and um, not to their doing either. It's like, I don't know, a glitch. And I have found myself unsubscribed to channels that I had subscribed to. So take a look. Check your favorite channels out, not just here, and make sure you're still subscribed. And if you haven't, I invite you to do that now. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.